What are they trying to say? That aliens built the pyramids? Little green men? Or Martian refugees? But that does not make sense. Were there ancient astronauts on planet Earth many thousands of years ago? Probably not. Pyramids are a perception in the nova of Saturn, a great pillar that manifested over our planet. It's strange to consider that anything but human beings built these structures in ancient times. Yet archaeologists claim the world's oldest pyramid, built 25,000 years ago, was not made by humans and instead was built by a long lost civilization capable of multiple technological innovations. While the Guinness World Records officially lists the stepped pyramid of Djoser in Egypt as the world's oldest pyramid, one paper published in October claimed a layer of the Gunung Padang Pyramid in Indonesia was constructed as far back as 25,000 years BC and this has led many researchers to speculate as to whether the structure was ever man-made at all. In research led by Danny Hillman, Nata Wajaja of the Indonesian Institute of Sciences and published in the journal Archaeological Prospection, the academics write that the pyramid's core consists of meticulously sculpted massive andesite lava and that the oldest construction element of the pyramid likely originated as a natural lava hill before being sculpted and then architecturally enveloped. They write that this study sheds light on advanced masonry skills dating back to the last glacial period. This finding challenges the conventional belief that human civilization and the development of advanced construction techniques are merged only with the advent of agriculture, which is approximately 11,000 years ago. Evidence from Ganung Padang and other sites such as Gobekli Tepe in Turkey suggests that advanced construction practices were already present when agriculture had, perhaps, not yet been invented. Researchers led by Danny Hillman, Nata Wajaja, proposed that this terraced hill contains evidence of human construction dating back an astonishing 25,000 years ago, potentially making it the world's oldest pyramid. However, this interpretation has been met with substantial scepticism from the scientific community. Flint Dibble of Cardiff University argues, there's no evidence, there's no clear evidence, the buried layers were human made, stating that naturally occurring geological formations could account for the observed patterns. Bill Farley of Southern Connecticut State University notes that while soil samples from the site have been accurately dated to 27,000 years ago, they lack telltale signs of human activity like charcoal or bone fragments. From the stepped pyramids of Mesopotamia to the smooth-sided monuments of Egypt, from the massive structures of Mesopotamia to the mysterious mounds of China, pyramidal forms appear consistently across ancient cultures, separated by vast distances and time. This global phenomenon suggests one of two things, either an astonishing coincidence of architectural inspiration or a shared cosmological vision rooted in celestial observation. The pyramid's shape represents more than just structural stability, it embodies an ancient understanding of cosmic order. The stepped form mirrors the hierarchical nature of reality as perceived by traditional cosmologies. While the four-sided base oriented to cardinal directions reflects awareness of Earth's relationship to the heavens. Most significantly, the pyramidal form replicates the plasma column phenomenon observed during intense cosmic electrical discharges, the very stairway to heaven described in numerous mythologies. At the heart of this ancient cosmic symbolism lies the ubiquitous winged sun disk. This is a motif that appears in Egyptian, Mesopotamian, Persian, 
Judaic traditions and many more. Conventional archaeology interprets this as a simple solar symbol, but the Electric Universe model reveals deeper layers of meaning. According to plasma cosmology, the winged sun disk represents not our current sun, but the planet Saturn in a previous celestial configuration, a brown dwarf star surrounded by a glowing plasma sheaf. And when this Saturnian system underwent electrical instability and discharged catastrophically, it would have appeared as a brilliant winged disk in Earth's ancient sky. The wings represent the bipolar outflow, characteristic of plasma discharge phenomena, while the central disk corresponds to Saturn's glowing toroidal plasma envelope. The Egyptian and Mesopotamian depictions show remarkable correspondence with plasma laboratory experiments. The Urias serpents flanking the solar disk align with current filaments in plasma discharge, while the outstretched wings mirrors the hourglass-shaped polar jets seen in plasma focus devices. In Egypt, the hieroglyphic texts accompanying these images describe great celestial electrical circuits that mainstream Egyptology struggles to interpret literally, but which makes perfect sense in plasma cosmological framework. The Saturn discharge event gave rise to one of humanity's most enduring mythological symbols, the world tree or the tree of life. In plasma terms, this represents the towering Birkeland current column that would have formed between Saturn and Earth during the celestial rearrangement. This immense plasma filament, visible worldwide, became encoded in global mythology as Yggdrasil in Norse tradition, the Bodhi tree in Hinduism and Buddhism, the Sephirotic tree in Kabbalah, the Jed pillar in Egyptian symbolism, the Golden Age, remembered in numerous traditions, corresponds to the period when Saturn dominated Earth's skies as a stable, benevolent luminary before the catastrophic electrical interactions that led to our current solar system being configurated. The loss of this primordial paradise, the fall recounted in various forms across cultures, marks the transition to our present celestial order with our current sun. If Gnung Padang does contain legitimate evidence of human activity that dates back 27,000 years ago, a claim requiring much stronger evidence, then it would position the site as potentially contemporaneous with the final phases of the Saturnian configuration. The pyramid form, whether natural or enhanced by human hands, may have served as a terrestrial counterpart to the celestial mountain, the cosmic axis linking Earth to the heavens during that turbulent transitional period. The site's location on an extinct volcano takes on added significance in this context. Volcanic regions often exhibit enhanced electrical properties and plasma discharge phenomenon, making them natural, sacred sites, while the boundary between heaven and earth appears thin. The andesite lava composing Ganung Padang is particularly rich in crystalline structure, potentially making it an effective piezoelectric transducer of telluric currents, a true battery for cosmic energy and ancient understanding. Rather than dismissing ancient accounts as primitive superstition or interpreting pyramid construction as merely tomb building, we must consider the possibility that our ancestors were recording in stone and myth real observations of extraordinary astrophysical phenomenon. The Electric Universe model provides a physical framework for understanding how celestial plasma discharges could have appeared to ancient observers and why these images became embedded in global consciousness.
As research continues at Ganung Padang and other ancient sites around the world, and as plasma cosmology advances our understanding of cosmic electrical phenomena, we may find the boundary between myth and history, between astronomy and religion, becoming increasingly permeable. In this brave new synthesis, the winged sun disk transforms from decorative symbol to eyewitness account, and the global pyramid phenomenon emerges as humanity's collective architectural response to a shared cosmic experience. What would you guys think about this? Comments below. And as always guys, thank you for watching.